Hey, this is Richard Patrick from Filter, and you're watching Loudwire. Basically, Crazy Eyes came from the, like me and my wife just kind of noticing like every time there was some crazy event, whether it was you know in the last ten years it's been like the VT shooter, just you know, and the Aurora gunman shooter or Adam Adam Lanza, the uh, you know all these lunatics have this look where they're just crazy. So I I just thought that. There's a sense of hysteria in the world, be it ISIS, be it rioting, be it Donald Trump. Uh, there's this massive kind of un, there's, there's this unneeded hate and hysteria that's just running amok on the planet. And, you know, obviously I want to write songs from my point of view, because obviously Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber have lovesick and sad love songs and happy love songs, they've got that covered. So for me, I like to do the exact opposite of whatever's popular right now. That's just in my nature, it kind of comes with the punk rock ethic that, that we're all kind of from in the alternative scene, especially from the 90s. Um, so I wanted to focus on like, you know, Hey Man, Nice Shot was you know, it was later discovered that it was about Arba Dwyer. I didn't necessarily want that part of it out, but that's the kind of stuff I've always been talking about. And for me, like, there's just too much insanity, and you can see it at your fingertips. And so Crazy Eyes is just the kind of the, the perfect um, title for a record that uh, is wild and strange and heavy and angry and um, all of that. Mother E comes from the place of a person that did some absolutely heinous things. Um, it was written as it happened. I happened to be seeing it on the news and I just, we had this really dark music and I just applied what I thought, my, my approximation of what I thought this person was doing because that's kind of like what I, I try and peel back the layers and find out why someone's doing that and then put it to music because that's more that's more authentic to me um, you know and it I don't ever really want to talk about what the song was based on because of the hey man nice shot thing where it got out and his family found out and you know um, so I'm just kind of leaving it alone but it's 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 the heaviest thing I've ever talked about lyrically. It's the heaviest thing that we've ever done as a band. Um, I really uh, emoted from the point of view of some savage lunatic. And because I think that that music, art has to reflect all sides of, of, uh, of uh, you know, the human experience. And I just, that's what I tried to do with that song, Mother E. Take Me to Heaven was the first time I collaborated with uh, Umi Capello. Umi Capello is uh, an amazing co-producer slash songwriter with me on that song and several others. And um, I, it was interesting working with Umi because he was not all about the guitar, which was where I was kind of coming from. The last record was very guitar heavy and I thought let's make a break from that. And do something that was way more spacious but had like you know loud sound design and just a different attitude and um, when we worked on that I was really inspired and I was like dude this is we should continue to make more music and so was the label and uh, so that was the first song where I really hung out with Umi and the other songs that uh, I did were you know I worked with Michael Teller who's Blumpy he's a famous uh, programmer slash score writer there's a lot of uh, a cinematic approach to the record um, and so there was a, a, a large variety of, of things that I wanted to do with the record but self-producing it was was actually my one of the 
top priority so that I could always have final say, but I did work well with all the other people on it. All of the similar chord progressions, it's, it's a very, but it goes to one individual <laughs> that used to be in the band who I love dearly. I love him dearly, but he's this crazed, drunk texter <laughs> and like, he sends me these emails that are, you know, he knows me really well. So he sends me these texts that are just like at five or six in the morning his time, which I know means he's been awake far too long that day. And, I, you know, it was my way of kind of hitting him back, hopefully in a fun way. But, uh, you know, he knows who he is and it's my little like kind of tribute to Short Bus. Because Short Bus was fun. Short Bus was even more crazy because I was a little bit more in the crazy uh, back then with my drinking and my own drugs and everything. And so Kid Blue is like a punk rock thing, but then all of a sudden it has this massive outro and it's just a jam. And like our drummer Chris Reeve is amazing and he played all of this stuff like first or second take and just did all these amazing fills and live that's going to be amazing so i can't wait to play all these songs live there's going to be a good portion of the show and i think true filter fans will respect the fact that this is really an authentic filter record and all of these songs are going to translate amazingly live so kid blue and take me to heaven and a lot of the record is going to be played live obviously uh, some of the stuff is going to be, you're going to have to play the hits. I love Hey Man, Nice Shot, Can't Chip Like I Do. And so, um, but yeah, that Kid Blue was fun. <laughs>